the Jewish Channel's Week in Review. A sense of revival in the peace process, the best new kosher products you'll see on store shelves this coming year, one of the most celebrated kosher cookbook authors releases a new one, and more of the Jewish news that's changing your world on this episode of the Week in Review. Hello, and welcome to the Jewish Channel's Week in Review. I'm Stephen I. Weiss. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu wants to pursue the peace process aggressively, he said this week. Direct peace talks between Israelis and the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank started in September, but seem to have fizzled over a combination of inactivity and disagreement, and the Netanyahu government's choice not to renew a freeze on new settlement construction in the West Bank. But Netanyahu is now stating a greater eagerness to return to talk soon. At his cabinet meeting this week, Netanyahu announced, We are in close contact with the American administration with the aim of restarting this peace process. Our aim is not only to renew the process, but to renew it in such a way that it won't collapse in a few weeks or in two months but that we will go into a full year of serious negotiations on the core issues in an effort to reach a framework agreement on the way to a peace deal. One reason why Netanyahu may have seen his interest surge in renewing peace talks is the possibility that the Palestinians could appeal directly to the United Nations for recognition as a state, a possibility that's been floated but not yet acted upon by Palestinian leadership. Meanwhile, in Israel advocacy here in the United States, Six million dollars has been committed by the Jewish Federation System for a three-year program to speak out on Israel-related issues. Called the Israel Action Network, the effort will act to combat efforts to compare Israel to apartheid-era South Africa, working with full-time staff in the U.S. and Israel to enable local federations to act as a sort of rapid response team. Moving on to a completely domestic issue, Local attention by Jewish community members got a polling place shifted from a Messianic Jewish congregation. Messianic Jewish congregations are Christian-led groups that seek to recruit Jews to worship Jesus, and one in Midwood, Brooklyn, was designated as a polling place for November elections there. But after outcry from the local Jewish community, the polling place has been shifted to a nearby public school, but one that doesn't have the same handicapped accessibility as the Messianic congregation. Many houses of worship in New York and elsewhere do regularly serve as polling places. And now a topic where many say you can't fake Jewish authenticity, food. What are the best new products to hit the kosher world this year? A celebrity kosher chef and a man representing many of the supermarket kosher sections joined the panel of other interesting judges to decide just what would make the cut. Christian Needham reports on the results of the competition for best new kosher products this year. I'm here at the Meadowlands Exposition Center at Kosher Fest, where every year manufacturers come to launch their new products. Here are a few of the highlights. Mountain Bread Wraps came a long way to win Best in Show at this year's New Products Competition, which was judged on October 13th at JCC Manhattan. Produced by No Worries Natural Foods in Western Australia, I tasted a sample and got the story on why this simple and delicious product came out on top. There's not much to it, no preservatives, nothing in it except for, as I said earlier, flour, water and salt. Simple. You can go wrong with them. They, they go well with cheese, cream cheese avocados, anything, any wrap you want to put in, tuna, avocado, they just go with everything. And competition judge, Chef Jeff Nathan of Abigail's Restaurant, thinks these wraps will catch on. I found that very unique. Usually, in my opinion, a lot of the kosher tortillas out there today, whether flour, whole wheat, or flavored, they're thick. So when you're making a sandwich with it, it's too doughy. And as soon as I tried that over there, I think you remember when you saw me over there, I just, it melted in my mouth, and I, I mean, I like that. In non-kosher, you can get that anywhere. You can't in kosher. So to me, the standout winner should be something unique and different, not the next great grape jelly or raspberry jelly. I think, I think that they really deserve to win. TJC was at the judging two weeks ago for Nathan's initial positive reaction to Mountain Bread. Hmm. We were also there for his reactions to less tasty products. Oh. Oh. God. Oh, I don't like it. I throw my plate at my wife. She gave me that. <laughs> let me just let me just leave it like that. One category that elicited some strong reactions from judges was best new savory condiment, which included tastes of barbecue sauce. Oh, wow, wow. Oh, oh. I got a winner. I don't even need to try anything. Wow. Wow. Right here. Honey garlic. To hear more about this year's best new kosher products, please tune into the broadcast version of the Week in Review. 
Thank you, Christian. Also at Kosher Fest this year, one of the most celebrated kosher cookbook authors, Susie Fishbein, was touting her new book. Rebecca Honig Friedman reports. While food is the focus here at Kosher Fest, a new book was also causing a stir. Popular kosher cookbook author Susie Fishbein was here launching her new book, Kosher by Design, Teens and Twenties. To autograph the first copy. So how did that feel? Fabulous. <laughs> Two years in the making. At the Colatin Kosher Gelatin booth, Fishbein was signing autographs, schmoozing with devoted fans, and getting excited by the reaction so far to her seventh cookbook. Particularly from the blogosphere, people are really reviewing it nicely. It's really speaking, you know, to all different age groups. So I hope it'll be good. I hope it'll be successful. And judging from the fans at Kosher Fest, it will be. Well, actually, yes, I have teenage kids that ask me to make everything, and it's time that I tell them, go make it yourself. Yes. <laughs> This kosher personal chef was enthusiastic about the contributions Fishbein's books have made to the kosher food market. She's brought a lot of new ingredients to the kosher market which have not been around before and just, you know, really able to up the ante for the kosher service industry and for people eating kosher food products. There's nothing we can't get anymore. <laughs> and fans got to see Fishbein demonstrate one of the desserts from her new book, a caramel no-bake cheesecake. But before the frenzy of the Kosher Fest book launch, TJC Meredith Jacobs paid a visit to the Fishbein home, where she had a chance to cook with Susie and her teenage daughter Katie, a perfect test subject for the new book. All of the recipes in this book are geared for teens and 20-somethings, maybe for people in their first apartment, people without a lot of equipment, people without a lot of cooking experience, to introduce them to good food. For a look at some of the recipes from Fishbein's new book, Tune in to the full broadcast version of the Week in Review. Thank you, Rebecca. That's all for this week. For more news and analysis from the Jewish Channel during the week, please check out our blog at newsdesk.tjctv.com. From all of us here at the Jewish Channel, be well. The Jewish Channel is available on cable. Iowa Optimum Cable Channel 291, Time Warner Cable Channel 528, RCN Channel 268, Verizon Fios Channel 900, and Cox Cable Channel 1. For more information, visit tjctv.com.